Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your uh, you versus them. Aries, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Aries, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Aries spirit. Alright, newcomers, I'll be setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with. So, for me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, two of cups in reverse. Somebody here really, really wants to take action, Aries. They really want to take action, but they are scared. They are scared or maybe they are just petrified of making that, uh, you know, approach to the other person. They want to have a passionate brand new beginning. This person is dreaming of, you know, coming forward and taking action, but... Um, it's almost like they're expecting a conflict. This person is, um, I think, scared to take action. They're sitting under a tree and feeling miserable, missing the other person, dreaming of a ten of pentacles or a happily ever after. But um, I don't know why they're so scared. The other person, I think they were expecting the other person to come forward with a romantic offer or something but they've kind of lost hope. It's like yeah they haven't come forward, they haven't said anything, I'm losing hope. In fact you know I should even stop waiting for them or keeping my you know energy stuck waiting for them to come towards me. Maybe I should just accept that you know this connection is over. Maybe I should maybe start uh, you know thinking of um, maybe dating somebody new. Um, Whoever this other person is on my right, they are very confident of themselves. I think they, they've regained their confidence and they could be actively trying to put their mind into maybe talking to other people or working on themselves or looking good, feeling good and just kind of directing their mind towards more positive things and saying, you know what? I really thought this person would make an effort but they haven't so I might as well stop worrying about that. So let's see why this person hasn't taken an action because you both are showing up as the king of wands to the queen of wands both in the upright. So the I think it's both sides you guys have this mutual attraction towards each other. So let's see what's hindering it. Uh, before I start clarifying these cards so Aries. Let me also ask the universe. Let's take some help. Uh, Spirit, you tell me what's going on with Aries and that person. Why are they both feeling this way right now? Aries and that person, Spirit. Why are they feeling this way? All right, here it is. The first card here says jealousy. All right, possessive attitudes are affecting this connection. I think even though one person wants to take action, they could be jealous, they could be uh, feeling what if the other person has somebody else, what if they are happy in another environment. Patience. This may require some patience and understanding. Third card says trust. Trust yourself and, and your intuition about this connection because maybe outwardly nothing is happening but who knows behind the surface what's going on. So, all right. So now let's also do, do your dialogue message cards, Aries. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other right now, what that would be, and then we'll clarify these. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person. Let's take a few more from another deck. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? And a few more from a third deck and then we'll start the reading Aries. Aries and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Aries, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I know I failed you and I let you down 
big time. Nothing sounds good enough without you. If I could turn back time, I would and I would do it all different. I want to see you happy, even if we are far away. You are my last love, my last everything. I can't control these emotions, so I run. I want to look better first. Maybe somebody is insecure that the other person has better options than them. I am really going through it. Hurting you hurt me even more. I kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection. I try to send my thoughts through songs. Can you hear me? I'm regaining my emotional strength. Can we start from scratch? All right. So, Aries, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to say to the viewer of the reading today. Um, this could be you watching. Maybe your cross watcher is, right? So, here's a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for the viewer of the reading. And this card here says, Aries, you found it. Well, I have no clue who found what here, but um, maybe somebody's had the realization of what is important. Okay, Spirit, so tell me what's going on here in this, this um, connection. Let's start with person A's energy. And newcomers, remember, these are not gender-based. I'm not guessing which side you're on. I mean, if this is your reading and you've been resonating till now, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this other person is in your life for you. Yes, it can be a love interest, spouse, ex, could be a secret crush, could be, uh, you know, your best friend, uh, could be somebody you know really, really well. But, well, this is a general reading. You'll have to figure out which side you're on and who this person is in your life for you. I'm going to be addressing you personally first and once I'm done here then later I'll move to the other side. Alright so person A how are you feeling today? Uh, what's the king of wands energy and the devil? Uh -huh. See this, this is a person who really wants to take action. Person A really really is dreaming of taking action but they know that their person who they see as their perfect match King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. I told you that earlier, right? But this person is very, very scared that the other person is going to be angry and upset with them. And even if they were to approach them, uh, they would remember all the times that maybe they are the ones who disrespected their person or said something. Maybe they never made a choice or, you know, they had another option. Now they are very scared that, oh my God, how do I open up to them? How do I reveal my true emotions to them? It's really embarrassing for me me now to approach them when they know that whatever they did in the past was something that was very upsetting to the other person. So what is the devil? Tell me person A, come on, what's the devil? What Are you scared or are you obsessed or what is it? Oh, they are scared. Oh my God, this person is really missing the other person. They are sitting in memories of person B, but they can't make an effort because they are little afraid that the other person has already moved on to maybe new love. As much as I think person A has now recognized that this is my soulmate, I want to return back. I want to offer them a cup of love. They feel that the other person has totally given up on them. Person A is heavily spying on person B. They are watching their every move. They are trying to figure out how to make things work because they have absolutely no clue. Okay, so why do you feel that uh, the other person is maybe angry with you, upset with you and maybe doesn't, maybe has moved on already? So what's, what's the fear about? Tell me person A. Uh, Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands? What's the Ace of Wands? One more. I think person A is uh, 
thinking they are overthinking they are trapped in their mind or what, what all this person can think of about is how do i make this work i want to have a passionate brand new beginning i'm ready to put in the work now but they are overthinking things too much it's like instead of taking action this person is going round and round in their mind they are kind of little worried that you know um, things have been stagnant for so long what if the other person is no longer you know stuck on me what if they they not no longer waiting for me the, whoever person a is has a lot of love in their heart but i think they have lot of trouble expressing it they don't know how to express it because of something they did maybe in the past this person could have been egoistic or prideful or said certain things maybe they they were playing mind games or just wanting to win at all costs and they could have destroyed this connection in the past now it's like that's the embarrassment and shame like how do i now approach the other person how do i tell them how i truly feel okay so how do you see the connection right now then person a how do you see person b how do you feel about this connection currently four of cups well they're not sure their offer will be accepted they are seeing the other person as maybe detached or they feel you know after all that happened even if i was to maybe message them or talk to them uh, what if they tell me that they are no longer interested or emotionally they have walked away from me on person a's mind is the 10 of pentacles what they truly want is the 10 of pentacles but they are not sure whether the other person would be wanting to work with them any more so that's the reason this person is just kind of afraid obsessing watching missing the other person and spying on them am i right person a tell me give me more for the 10 of pentacles Ten of Pentacles. Yo, I think Person B is feeling that Person, sorry, Person A. Person A is feeling that the other person ha- must be having a lot of suitors. They must be like in high high demand. Look at them; they're shining like a star. What if they don't want to reconcile with me? I think that it's their own fear. I mean, they showed up as a somebody who wants to take action, right? But they're not taking action because. I don't know why. I have no clue why. I think this person is still coming across as somebody who's playing mind games or ego or something because they they want clarity first. They want to know whether the other person is still even interested in having something long term with them. They're trying to figure out some truth before. So it says before they take that action. Okay so tell me okay this is your action card person A which I'll open later right now I'm going to go to the other side see how person B is feeling and then we'll do the action cards together So person B let's talk with you now what's the knight of cups in your feelings in your emotions I think person B is feeling uh, they're manifesting <laughs> person B is cause kind of lost hope they feel there is a lack of victory in this connection they feel that uh, it's over already they've been stabbed in the back it's time maybe to release this connection maybe it's time to maybe move to another direction yes they feel disrespected by person a they never got the offer they were they are they were not emotionally happy in this connection i think heart of hearts person b was waiting they were waiting that person a will come out of nowhere and take action and tell them hey you know i've realized that you are my two of cups but now they are feeling that oh oh i was just waiting for nothing i think person b is lose, losing a little bit of hope now star card in reverse star card in reverse i think both of you have been quietly uh spying on the other person secretly maybe not openly uh person b has been waiting that yeah maybe you know if they are watching me maybe they will come towards me and they will try and make things right with me bring back justice and balance i don't think person b is actively chasing because they seem to be sitting in on their throne yes they are glowing they are uh, they are not willing to be the first ones to make a move because they feel i don't need to apologize to them and they haven't come to apologize to me for all the mind games they played so 
I am not going to, you know, keep fighting for a connection where maybe in the past person B was the one who was always trying, trying, trying. But they saying, no, now I'm not going to. Now I'm going to sit on my throne. I'm going to stand. Sit. They can watch all they want. But if they don't come with a with an apology or they don't take an take action or they don't offer me a cup of love, that means that they are not the right person for me. They still don't have any courage, or maybe they don't still see me as the one. they still are not ready to make up their mind right so person b is also thinking a few negative thoughts right now because the some way they are seeing person a is in action as uh, well an indication that they are not interested in commitment okay so tell me why do you feel like that person b eight of swords in reverse person b says because now i'm sitting in a place where i've learned my value i've learned my worth and uh, somebody who comes towards me has to come towards me in a perfect match emperor to the empress i'm not going to entertain anyone who's still sitting in their stubborn energy or still playing games with me or they still want to have the power over me if they are still not taking action right so well if they are still going to behave all arrogant I mean, according to person B, person A is being arrogant. From what I saw of person A, I think it's just fear. They want to take action, but they are somewhere jealous or you know scared, or they feel they won't be given a chance. So, I mean, person B is taking it as yeah, yeah. They are still not a true match. They're still playing mind games. I still have to you know keep my power, and I have to still keep strong boundaries and uh, accept that maybe well, if they still haven't made an effort, then it's over. this is this connection is done okay so person b tell me how do you feel about the connection now how do you see person a and how do you feel about this connection currently queen of wands what's the queen of wands oh person b says if person a had made an effort or if they do take action towards me i think person b would uh, kind of be happy somewhere they want to see person a put the work in or take action or do something uh am i right person b tell me more three of pentacles and the queen of wands one more yeah but person b says you know what but they haven't they haven't come towards me they are still not co non committal they still haven't found the courage to make that effort they still haven't come towards me with any any love offer any apology so you know what i'm i all this waiting period i've become stronger now i know my value i know my worth i'm following my own passions i'm focused on new people right now and uh, i think day by day person b is losing hope that this connection can come back together somewhere they are not seeing any positive action from person a so they feel yeah you know they are still not ready they are still not stepping up they're still not doing right by me and that's kind of making person b feel not very happy so that's the reason i think person b is saying i might as well focus on myself i might as well focus on my growth i might as well start meeting new people and start manifesting new love all right so let's see what actions you guys will take then uh person a i'm back to you for that i'm going to take another deck now and uh, aries while i shuffle this deck now may i please request you remind you if you could just tap the like button the thumbs up button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated to do more readings for you aries and um, newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in all right so person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise hermit in reverse all right so what's the hermit in reverse do you want to come come out of your hermit mode enough of thinking person a and take some action or are you just ashamed and embarrassed because of your past unwise decisions and uh, afraid to make that move what's the hermit in reverse oh five of cups four of swords king of cups the tower okay ace of cups queen of cups eight of wands i think this person is a uh, initially i i do say they are sitting in a lot of sadness uh, 
they are afraid to express themselves they, they have a lot of love a lot of love they want to express but i think they are just kind of not moving it's like i'm sitting in my sadness i'm sitting in my grief i don't know what to do till one day i think this person is going to suddenly out of the blue they're going to wake up they're going to wake up because they they feel that you both belong together king of cups to the queen of cups i have a feeling that one day whenever this lightning strikes i think this person is going to come come forward with communication and offer their whole heart uh but right now i do feel it's going to take them a little while till they can't take it anymore it's almost like you know uh it's like mm, you really want to do something and let's say there's a chocolate lying in front of you and you're hungry and you're starving till till suddenly you say okay i i'm just going to grab it and gobble it up it's that kind of energy i'm feeling from them all right so once they start talking they're not going to stop it feels So person B what about you action from your end towards person A or otherwise in your own life what's your action going to be the sun person B is i think just trying to find their own happiness trying to find joy or bring happiness into their own life show me what's the sun card hierophant justice the sun card again you know what I think I mean you can put as many comments as you want in the comment box but from what I'm seeing here I think person B has felt very disrespected in the past uh whether person B you acknowledge it to me or not or say no you're wrong I have a feeling because of this uh feeling that you had that you were not respected you have been secretly manifesting you have been secretly manifesting that one day person a will take that action if they take that action or they come forward and offer person b commitment uh, it will kind of make person b feel validated they will feel yes justice has been done somewhere it's going to make person b very happy the sun card twice that's what they're telling me that secretly they've been manifesting that whatever happened in the whatever toxicity happened in the past if person a would come back and at least make it right with me it would make me very happy i don't think they will be making an effort but they they are secretly manifesting it even if it's subconscious all right so the spirit tell me why is the two of cups in reverse then overall energy for aries reading today why is the two of cups in reverse Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. I think somewhere secretly, both of you are not very happy that this connection is over. I think secretly, you both want to have this partnership, want to work on this connection, but there is a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking. Uh, Uh, heart of hearts i think you guys really want to come together but both are expecting that it's not going to work out i have a feeling there is a need to have the conversation some communication which i think person b says i'm not going to because i was the wronged party but it would make me feel good if person a would make an effort and person a is avoiding it because some way they are very scared they won't be forgiven but I don't think they can hang on for too long. They know they they it's like they found it. I mean, they know that this is their perfect match. And the day I think the floodgates open, there is there'll be no stopping them. So, that's what I have for you Aries. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.